guys! Today, we are going to carry out several experiments entitled How the Nature of Reactant and Catalyst Can Affect the Rate of Reaction. The first experiment shows the effect of concentration on the rate of chemical reaction. Next, the effect of surface area on the rate of reaction and how temperature can affect the rate of reaction. Lastly, how the soap acts as catalyst and affect the rate of reaction. Let's figure out the experiment. First, we are going to do an experiment to determine how the factor of the concentration works on an unripe banana. First of all, place one unripe banana in a sealable plastic bag and label it as the control. Seal the bag. Next, place one unripe banana and one ripe apple in another sealable bag. Seal each bag. Then, place the bags together in a room with optimum temperature. Record your observations of the initial appearance of the fruit. Lastly, observe and record the changes to the appearance of the fruit each day. After a few days, the unripe banana ripens deliciously. This is because the concentration of ethylene gas becomes high. Thus, make the fruit to ripen in a short period. Next, let's identify how the temperature acts to dissolve the sugar cubes in water. Right from the start, make sure that the glasses have an equal amount of water. Then, put two sugar cubes into the cold water and at a given time taken, stir the solution. Next, observe the solution whether there are still sugar cubes present. Repeat the same process for the hot water and compare the observation. In hot water, the sugar cubes are completely dissolved in water. This is because the water molecules are moving at a higher rate of speed and break down the sugar more quickly by the addition of energy. These added movements tend to make the bonds between glucose molecules become easier to be overcome. And lastly, is the effect of catalyst on rate of reaction. Firstly, prepare two cloths of same type, color, stained with same items used in similar shape and texture. Then, let them dry for 15 minutes. After that, both clothes are dipped into two buckets of different solvents. First one is filled with plain water. Second one is filled with a cup full of detergent. Both are hand washed and dried. Then, we can observe the stain residue on both fabrics. As a result, we can see that the removing of stain using soap water is more effective than using plain water.